Hello, everybody. It's Holger Müller from Constellation Research. Uh, with apologies, this is a rather belated video blog entry. I think it's the longest. I have not done something, but it's still important to know and see what happened at Ceridian Insights uh, back in mid-October in Las Vegas. Conference was all attended. New venue, leaving, leaving the area for Caesar's Palace was good uh, because Ceridian basically outgrew the area. Uh, that's always a good problem to have and creates a unique experience at a conference where people see a new venue, uh, more, more attendees, uh, larger keynote room, more exhibitors and so on. So growth is always a good ingredient for uh, any software vendor conference. And that's what's happening at Ceridian right now. We're seeing very good traction on customers and prospects side. That's my first takeaway. Uh, Ceridian holds the record from anything that's publicly disclosed of actively converting customers' payroll business to their new Dayforce platform, which is a very unique feat and speaks to the strength of the platform and the process strength uh, to be able to do that. So uh, remarkable in the industry. Um, the big news was on-demand pay debuting, the ability for lower income, lower funded workers to instantly withdraw financial parts of work they've already done and not having to run for the paycheck date or the payroll date. That is very important for many industries, more than you typically think, uh, as we, we are in a very fortunate situation to not have to live paycheck to paycheck, or at least most in the audience for these events. Is. So it's very important capability. A leverage is a key architecture of the always on, the always calculated payroll, which uh, Ceridian has created. Fundamentally different architecture than what traditional payroll was there, which is always the engine in the back room, which you turn on once or twice a month. Uh, whereas the always on payroll is the one which is always calculated, takes event-based changes to which are payroll relevant and right away makes them available. Third one is, uh, of course, the readiness is long-term march to go deeper into um, uh, talent management. All the major blocking pieces have been there, so it goes more to the edges of that and uh, Ceridian uh, launched their succession planning capabilities, which is important from an overall career planning talent management capability of an enterprise, so it's good to see uh, Ceridian filling that gap. What's the overall takeaway? And my point of view, it's uh, Ceridian as a role is doing really, really well, growing as a company um, on a strong platform, probably one of the best, if not the best integrated platform of uh, very uh, workforce management intensive and payroll intensive piece in a single platform uh, that works really well for Ceridian. If there's something which is there to be wished and has not been talked about enough or should be seen more, is doing more things around artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, which is an important aspect to make HR applications even better for anybody involved, the employee who gets suggestions and things done and can be quicker done going back to the real work, for managers who have that even more as a problem, very important for enterprise acceleration that people don't have to struggle and spend a lot of time in their HR applications because guess what? Nobody's being paid for using the HR application. Everybody has a different job in mind and HR is just an important functionality which you need to use both as an employee as a manager. Assistants are very important. All these areas something to watch because it wasn't prominently talked about by Ceridian. Could have been time restrictions or could have been that this functionality behind and it's something people have to really pay attention to. It was a great conference. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Holger Müller from Constellation Research. Follow me at Holger and you on Twitter. Uh, tons of tweets there. Um, no longer story files available, but Twitter moments is collecting all that together. Uh, check the one slide slide uh, just published, which summarizes the conference in a single slide. And of course, watch this video and hopefully we'll have a blog post too. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.